Welcome to See Next. Today, we're ranking the top 10 best comedy movies of 2024. Let's jump right into the funniest films that made this year unforgettable. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Number 10, Problemista. This is the story of Alejandro. He immigrated to the most competitive place on earth to become a world famous toy designer. Problemista is a surreal and thought-provoking comedy directed by and starring Julio Torres. The story follows Alejandro, a toy designer from El Salvador, whose visa is about to expire, forcing him into a series of odd jobs to stay afloat. Tilda Swinton plays Elizabeth, Alejandro's erratic boss, whose chaotic energy dominates much of the film. Her performance as a cantankerous art critic adds both humor and tension, making her one of the film's most captivating elements. According to my calculations, that is not the amount I should have in my account. What balance were you expecting? Zero would be great. <laughs> just, just get me to zero. Number 9. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare Gus March Phillips, I have a mission. I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? Set during World War II, this gripping adventure brings together intense combat and quick-witted humor under the direction of Guy Ritchie. The story centers around a covert British military unit, tasked with sabotaging Nazi operations using unconventional tactics. Led by Major Gus March Phillips, portrayed by Henry Cavill, the team includes explosive experts and daredevils, all embarking on a high-stakes mission called Operation Postmaster. Their goal? To disrupt Germany's critical U-boat supplies, making for an adrenaline-filled, action-packed narrative. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> it's very good. Number 8. Fly Me to the Moon Excuse me? What are you doing here? I tracked you down because I felt we had a connection. What? I'm joking. I work here now to sell the moon. Fly Me to the Moon is a romantic comedy set against the backdrop of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Directed by Greg Berlanti, the film stars Scarlett Johansson as Kelly Jones, a marketing expert tasked with improving NASA's public image, and Channing Tatum as Cole Davis, a NASA launch director overseeing the historic mission. The film follows their chaotic relationship as Kelly's presence complicates Cole's already challenging task. As the stakes rise, Kelly is ordered to stage a fake moon landing as a backup plan, leading to a series of comedic and romantic entanglements. The whole world will be watching. We can't afford to lose to the Russians. Number seven, Thelma. I'm Thelma, Thelma Post. You might recognize me. From the telephone. Thelma is a delightful comedy that delivers both heart and humor, starring the incredible June Squibb in her first ever leading role at the age of 94. The film, directed by Josh Margolin, follows Thelma, a feisty grandmother who gets swindled by a phone scammer pretending to be her grandson. Determined to retrieve her stolen money, she embarks on an action packed quest, teaming up with her old friend Ben played by Richard Roundtree in his final role before his passing. Why are we stopping at Mars? To get a gun. Do you even know how to use it? How hard can it be? Idiots use them all the time. God. Number six, bad boys, ride or die. Boys, if you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. Whoever gave the order to kill me is in the department. They're coming after you next. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence return for another round of buddy cop hilarity in Bad Boys Ride or Die. This latest installment in the Bad Boys franchise delivers the same action-packed sequences and banter that fans have come to expect, with plenty of comedic moments sprinkled throughout. While the film sticks to its tried-and-true formula, the chemistry between Smith and Lawrence continues to be the heart of the series, making this a fun, entertaining ride from start to finish. Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir, but I gotta go. Number 5. The Fall Guy Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt bring their comedic talents to The Fall Guy, a film that blends romance with high-octane stunts. The story follows a stuntman trying to navigate the challenges of his career while rekindling a relationship with his ex-lover. The chemistry between the leads, combined with laugh-out-loud moments and action-packed sequences, makes this a thoroughly entertaining romantic comedy. I never forget a fist. I don't mean it like that. Number 4. 
wicked little letters. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'll get you in the ball, sir! She's heinous. Set in a small English seaside town in the 1920s, Wicked Little Letters is a delightful British comedy based on a real-life scandal. The story revolves around two neighbors, the prim and proper Edith Swan, played by Olivia Colman, and the wild, outspoken Rose Gooding, portrayed by Jessie Buckley. When obscene letters start circulating in the town, Edith accuses Rose of being the culprit, setting off a series of chaotic and humorous events. The combination of mystery, comedy, and social commentary makes Wicked Little Letters a charming and insightful addition to the 2024 comedy lineup. I'm not actually evil, you know. No, but you've got evil in you. No, no, it's not your fault. You were born with it, but I like you, Rose, and, and I'd like to bring you to the light, for Nancy's sake. Number three, my old ass. I'm actually kind of hot for being middle-aged. I'm 39 years old, that's not middle-aged. No, that is middle-aged. No, it's not. I am a very young adult. This heartfelt and introspective comedy brings a fresh twist to the coming-of-age genre. Directed by Megan Park, the film centers on 18-year-old Elliot, played by Maisie Stella, who, during a hallucinogenic trip, meets her 39-year-old future self, portrayed by Aubrey Plaza. The older Elliot provides guidance on navigating love, identity, and family as Elliot juggles a new romantic interest and the challenges of impending adulthood. Just take my advice and we'll be fine. Oh my god! I think. Number two, Hitman. I had it down to a science. Sounds lovely. Until things got, well, wrong. Complicated. That's it. Directed by Richard Linklater, stars Glenn Powell as Gary Johnson, a psychology and philosophy professor who moonlights as a fake hitman for the New Orleans Police Department. His task is to trap individuals trying to hire a killer, but things take an unexpected turn when he meets Madison, Adria Arjona, a woman seeking to escape her abusive husband. As their relationship deepens, Gary becomes embroiled in moral dilemmas, leading to a mix of thrilling, romantic, and comedic elements. Very scary. No. Remember the lady came in trying to have her husband killed that we let go? No, that he let go. Before we reveal our first pick, let's look at some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Babes. I have a family. I've been swamped. Best friends get so screwed over in adulthood. You and me, we're family. Self-reliance. You have been selected to partake in the biggest reality show in the dark web. Mean Girls. Get in, loser. Welcome, Katie. You're never gonna believe what I found this morning. Your burn book. Number one, Deadpool and Wolverine. I waited a long time for this team up. At the top of our list is the highly anticipated Deadpool and Wolverine, which brings together two fan-favorite characters in a hilarious, action-packed adventure. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman reprise their roles as Deadpool and Wolverine, delivering the sharp wit and irreverent humor that fans of the Deadpool franchise have come to love. With its mix of meta-humor, explosive action, and playful banter between Reynolds and Jackman, Deadpool and Wolverine is easily the funniest and most entertaining comedy of the year, providing fans with endless laughs and memorable moments. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope. I'm actually okay. And those are the top 10 best comedy movies of 2024. What did you think? Did we miss one of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to be notified of new content. Thanks for watching.